In this video, I'm gonna review your books, show you what kind of mistakes you're making, and show you exactly what to improve so you can get a lot more sale. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sean, and I've built and sold a seven-figure publishing business, and now I'm building my second KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. And if you want a free training on how I built a publishing business to this level, then the link to the training is in the description below. All right, I've done a few videos of these in the past, but I'm gonna review and critique your books and show you exactly how you can get more sales. These are books that you guys submitted to me through Instagram. So if you want me to analyze your books in the future, then follow me on Instagram and DM me your book, and I might feature that in future videos. My Instagram handle is in the description below. All right, guys, let's start with book number one. So we got Car Trip Trivia for Smart Kids, 8 to 12. Beat the boredom with 200 fascinating facts and mind-boggling questions, plus 20 bonus games. So we have 4.9 average reviews at 26 ratings. And we are at BSR 1,478,000, so it's not selling at all. So everything looks decent, right? The title is SEO optimized. You know, it sounds nice, okay? The cover, I think, is decent. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it's a pretty good cover uh, considering that the text over here, it pops really nice, car trip trivia, right? And it has the image of a family driving a car. I think it's pretty nice. And also, if you go down here, there's a pretty decent A plus content. There's only three modules, so you can add more, but you know, it's not bad. So why is this book not selling? Well, the biggest issue that I see is when I look up car trip trivia or road trip trivia, you can see that there's not a ton of other books selling on the topic of road trip trivia. This one is an ad, uh, Road Trip Adventures Hidden Objects. So it's different, it's hidden objects. And that's selling decently actually. So perhaps that's a better keyword than trivia books. But in terms of road trip trivia, this book is not selling well, this is not selling, this is not selling. You know, there's not a single one that's selling in the topic of road trip trivia. So that's the issue right here is, before you go and make a book, you have to confirm that the topic of the book that you're making is actually selling. If there's actual demand where customers are looking for these books and buying these books, right? So if you don't see anyone else, any other books on the topic selling well or selling at all, then that is probably a sign that no one's looking for a book on that, right? It's it's not profitable. So that is probably the issue here is you just chose the wrong keyword. So you do a good job creating the book, right? So you just have to find better keywords and I think you would do okay. So the final rating, I'll give this a three out of five. All right, next book, we have Cultural Diversity and Digestion, How to Eat Your Way to Happy Gut Health. So it's a book on, I'm assuming, gut health cookbook or something like that and it is selling at 4.7 star average, 14 ratings, $13.99 on the paperback. I don't know why uh, there's no ebook. I don't know why there's no hardcover. That's something that you should do immediately. And it is at 3 million uh, in the BSR, so it's not selling at all. It's, it's doing really, really bad, right? So the first thing that I see here is, I don't know what the book is about. When you say cultural diversity and digestion, what is that, right? It's something to do with gut health, but it's not clear. So what I would do is just change the title to gut health cookbook or how to improve your gut or something that is more keyword optimized uh, because that's what the customer is gonna type on Amazon. No one's gonna type cultural diversity and digestion, okay? So you wanna put your title as something that you know the customers will be typing in on Amazon. Because one, your book is gonna rank on those keywords, so it's gonna be a lot easier for people to discover you, but two, it's gonna be a lot more clear on what the book is about, so it does both things, right? So if I go and look at Gut Health Cookbook, then the topic itself seems pretty good, right? We have this book right here, 73,000 in the bookstore, and this book right here is a low uh, FODMAP, so I don't know if it's related. And this one is your other book, actually, Mental Health and Digestion. It's doing a little better, but nothing amazing, right? So we have this Gut Health Cook uh, book is 30,000 in the BSR, making $67 a day. And we have uh, quite a decent other books, which are Gut Health Cookbooks. Uh, that is doing decently. So $43 a day, $36 in royalties a day. So this topic itself uh, shows that it's decently profitable. And so that's exactly what you wanna rank for is gut health cookbook, if that's what your book is about. So that is the change number one is, I'll change the title to that. Now you can update the title, so obviously you have to unpublish and republish you know, as a new book, but that's completely fine. So that brings me to the book cover, which is once again, it's not bad, but it's not great because improving your gut health is the main 
part of your book and that's what you want to really feature but that is in a smaller text right here at the bottom okay and it's not really the main focus right so you really want to have that as a main focus at the top so either the title text right here so the first thing customers see or as an image so something that is like you know representing your gut healing or something like that although if you look at your competitors it's so images of vegetables and food so maybe this works uh, right but I would still make the main text uh, gut health cookbook or something like that next thing once again I don't know why you don't have an ebook version definitely add that I don't know why you don't have a hardcover version definitely add that it's super easy to do it's super cheap very quick you can do it in just a couple hours and it's just extra formats that you can sell your books at Next thing is you don't have much reviews. 14 reviews is okay, but not great, right? Considering if your competitors has hundreds of reviews, you definitely want to have a lot more than 14 reviews as well. So there's many ways to get reviews. I covered it in a lot of my videos, but the easiest way is to use services like Pubby. You do have to pay a little bit, but it's super cheap, right? And it's the easiest way to get reviews uh, over time. So if you look at the website, it kind of explains how it works. There's a free trial. You can check it out. But if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And once again, that is probably the easiest way to get reviews. And that's what I would recommend is to get your review count up so that you can get uh, more sales. Now, I also see that you have a A plus content, but it's a very simple block. Now, I do like that you're pitching your other books, which is super good, but you can do a lot more on your A plus content. So you can make A plus content very easily with, you know, tools like Canva yourself. So you don't have to pay, but if you don't want to spend the time, you can just hire other people to do it, uh, such as this gig right here. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But this gig will create A plus content for you. And you can see that this one right here is kind of similar to what your niche or topic is about. So this is a plant based cookbook. And this is the kind of A plus content that you want is showcasing what the benefit of the book is, what's inside what is covered, right, really speaking to the customer. So that is something that you can create once again on Canva yourself, if you want to spend the time, or if you just want to hire other people to do it for you, then this gig is a good one. So overall, I think there's potential in this book just because you're getting good reviews and, you know, there's books on this topic selling very well. So you just have to fix these small things and I think you'll do a lot better. So the final rating is four out of five. Next book we got is Book of Mazes for Six Years Old, Maze Activity Book for Kids. So it has zero reviews. It's selling at $6.79 on paperback and it has no BSR ranking, which means it hasn't sold a single copy, right? So the number one thing is you don't want to repeat what you said in the title in the subtitle. So the title is Book of Mazes for Six Years Old and in the subtitle is Maze Activity Book for Kids. It's basically repeating the same thing. The subtitle is where you call out the benefits, who the book is for, right? So talk to your audience and also explain the benefits, okay? So you wanna make it a lot more descriptive. What I would recommend is something like Awesome Mazes for Smart Six Years Old or something like that or Awesome Mazes for Smart Kids. And in the subtitle, you wanna explain a lot more about what the book is about, such as how many mazes, right? Who is it for? Is it for kids? Is it for adults? Is it for smart kids? You know, and the difficulty of the mazes and what kind of mazes? Like, is it animal mazes, unicorn mazes, right? So, you know, try and niche down that way uh, because right now it's very, very broad. It's just book of mazes. So you're competing with all the other maze books, which is going to be super competitive. So the improved subtitle could be something like 200 amazing and challenging animal mazes for smart kids or something like that. I don't know. But hopefully you get the point. Now, the next thing is the book cover. So I like the text right here, mazes for kids, right? The text stands out. But the issue is with these kind of books, you always want to showcase the interior to show the customer how it's going to look once they purchase the book, right? Right now you have some images here, you have some text, but you're not showcasing the actual mazes. Okay. Now you have some mazes in the back cover, but you want to do that in the front cover because if you look at your competitors here, so when I search for mazes for kids, almost every single one or basically every single one has the maze on the cover. We have the maze on the cover. We have the maze, 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 right? Almost every single one that's doing well, even this one, it doesn't look like it has a maze, but in the background, there is the maze, right? So every single one is showcasing the puzzle and the maze on the cover. And that's exactly what you want to do as well. 
Next, you want to get book reviews, just like all the other books that we reviewed, like almost every single one has this issue of not having enough reviews, and that's why your books are not selling. And you also don't have any A-plus content, and if you, once again, want to do it yourself, you can do it on Canva. If you want to outsource to someone, uh, there's a cheaper gig than the one I showed you earlier, so you can do both. You know, I tried both, and they're both very good. Obviously, the more expensive one is a little higher quality, but this gig by Walid creates a A-plus content for you. So you would want a minimum of three modules for your A-plus content, so that'll be $30. But if you want to try him out, I'll leave a link in the description. So the final rating for this book is two out of five. All right, so next we got Word Search for Kids aged eight to 10, 101 Search and Find Word Puzzles. So once again, the subtitle is kind of just repeating the title, so you want to change it up. But uh, this book is at four star average with one review and it is at 1,769 BSR, so it's not selling much. And one thing I noticed is the book cover is really high quality. I really like the book cover. It's still showcasing the word search right here a little bit, although it's not the main element of the cover. You know, it does stand out. It's, it's about the kid playing with the word search might work, right? So I do like that aspect of it. But once again, just like the last example, you know, if you look at your competitors, every single one of them, you know, their main element is the word search and then they have the kids around that. So the kid is not the main element, it's the word search and it's the puzzles, right? So perhaps you want to kind of model that uh, in the future, but who knows, maybe this cover will stand out because it's different and you don't always have to copy your competitors, right? So, you know, it could work. And I think the issue could be something else, which is that you're not niching down enough. So kids eight to 10 is not enough niching down. You wanna do, you know, something more specific like adding a theme to it, like animal word search, unicorn word search for kids age eight to 10, right? So you can do that to niche down even more as well as you need more reviews than just one. And because you didn't niche down enough, you probably have to run as after getting the reviews if you still want to make this book successful. But if you do a good job niching down, then you know the amount of as you have to run to rank the book is gonna be a lot less. And that's why niching down is so important. But it looks like you're one of those people that is really, really good at designs uh, because I'm looking at your book cover. I think it's really good if you create this from scratch. I don't know, it could be, you know, if it's a template, maybe not. But I'm looking at your interior and it also looks amazing, right? The word search, you have the designs. So I think you make really high quality books and the issue is just the marketing aspect. So you wanna do better keyword research and better job at getting reviews and perhaps running a little bit of ads. Or if you don't want to pay for ads, you can always do it for free with social media marketing. So, you know, it could be either way, but you want to drive some traffic to the book. So the final rating is four out of five. I think you have the skill set to succeed. Uh, you just want to kind of change your approach a little bit. All right, so the next book is Essential Oils, Absolutes and CO2's Hidden Message Word Search. So this is a interesting one, right? It's uh, It has one star review or one five-star review. It's at 5 million BSR, so it's probably the worst BSR that I've seen uh, making this video today. And the main reason is because I'm assuming that nobody really is looking for a book on essential oils word search, right? A better keyword would have been hidden message word search uh, rather than essential oils word search. Uh, I feel like that is way too niche down and I don't think you've done proper keyword research to confirm that there's other books uh, on the topic of essential oils word search that's selling well because I don't think there's any other books on this topic selling well okay so that's number one so you want to you know title the book better which is hidden message word search uh, is what I recommend as well as you want to improve the cover it looks like you made this on canva i don't think it looks good okay so once again pay somebody five bucks ten bucks on fiverr that can design you know something better for you or practice a little more on canva and you know make something better okay so when i say better it's essentially just you know it, it looks kind of cheap right you're putting you know grass and flowers but it's not quite you know adding uh, to the cover. The main feature or the main element is the puzzles. Once again, so you want to showcase that better. And then you want a better color contrast than just black and white. You know, add some more colors to it, make the font a little more uh, easier to read and just those kind of things. Like analyze your competitors and see what you can do here. Get more reviews. Once again, same advice as every other book, but that is like the number one thing that most people aren't doing is that they're trying to sell their book at one review or zero reviews and then they ask themselves why are their books not selling well obviously because you have no reviews right so that's the main thing and until you get more reviews i would not price your book at 12.99 because for a word search book 
$12.99 as a premium price. And you can do that, you can sell your book at a premium price if you have a ton of reviews, but if you don't, then you wanna price it lower until you get more reviews, okay? So I will price the, the book a little lower, improve on the cover, and go from there. I also would recommend, just as a side note, to not use a uh, bold font for all your description or at least half of it. It makes it kind of hard to read, so just bold the important section of your description that you want to highlight, but not the entire thing. So the final rating for this book, I'll give you a 2.5 out of 5. All right, next book we have is Knowing the United States, Independence, History, and Important Events Since Independence. So this book is at $2.99, uh, paperback is $8.99. It has no reviews and no sales, okay? So issue number one, I don't know what this book is about after reading it, after looking at the cover. So is it a US history book? Is it a US trivia book, right? You have to be super clear. Just say that in the title, US history book, US trivia book, right? So that's like step number one is you have to title it better. And then, you know, you can kind of practice on the subtitle copywriting as well. You also want to capitalize the first letter of each word to make it look more professional right here. The book cover is basically your backyard and the text over it, uh, which, you know, it's, it's cute, but it's not going to sell. Okay, so you once again want to improve it, look at your competitors. So what you want to do is look up US history books or US trivia book on Amazon, see what kind of style your competitor has and try and model that into your book cover, okay? And then you can take that on Canva, design the cover or Fiverr once again, pay someone five bucks to design a cover for you with your instructions of how you know the cover should look like based on your competitors. Okay, so based on your successful competitors is what I should add. So do that and uh, get more reviews. And you can also improve on the book description. Uh, I don't know why it's quoted. You don't want to do the quotes thing, so remove the quote and then improve the description. You can literally just ask ChatGPT to write you a product description of a book on US history or something like that. It'll write up a description and you can just edit that a little bit and use that as your description. So, you know, you can improve that very easily. So the final rating, I'll give you a 1.5 out of 5. All right, so the final book is Welcome to the Soulmate Scam, an educational workbook for narcissistic abuse recovery, okay? So first thing, uh, capitalize each letter of the word once again to make it look professional. And so this book is 99 paperback, uh, seven reviews, and it is at 82,000 BSR, which is actually good, right? This is the best BSR that we've seen today. It is actually selling more than one copy a day. Bookbeam is saying it's selling three a day. I think one to three, making $9 a day in royalties. And I think if you make these few tweaks that I'm about to show you, you can do a lot better. So the first thing is you gotta add ebook versions and hardcover versions on this listing. You only have paperback version and there's really no reason not to create a ebook and hardcover. Because to create a ebook version and a hardcover version, you literally just have to format the interior and the cover for it, which is like $5 a piece. So it's super quick, super easy. You just upload on KDP as a new format and that's how you can start making money uh, selling eBooks and hardcover as well. So the strategy that I recommend is to set your eBook price closer to paperback, something like $7.99, $8.99. And for the hardcover version, you'll sell it super high, something like perhaps over $20. So 21, 22, 23. And for the paperback, which is where you wanna make most of the money, you're gonna set that as a very good price, something like 11, 12, $13, okay? This way, because the ebook is almost the same price as the paperback, the hardcover is way more expensive. Most people will buy the middle price book, which is a paperback version, which is where you make most of your money anyways, okay? So that strategy is called price anchoring, and I recommend you try this out as well. So the next thing that I see here is, unfortunately, your book cover does not make any sense. Uh, this does not scream narcissistic abuse recovery, same as your book title title, Welcome to the Soulmate Scam, right? It makes no sense, unfortunately. And with nonfiction books like this, you have to be crystal clear on what the book is about and what kind of problems it's solving. You don't want to try to be cute here, right? You want to be clear. Don't try to be cute, be clear, okay? So your book is about educational workbook for narcissistic abuse recovery, okay? And it is a journal, prompt, coloring pages. So this is what I would title it narcissistic abuse recovery workbook that's the title okay and then in the subtitle you're going to do educational workbook uh, that includes journaling prompts calling pages included 
uh, or something like you want to improve that. That's not the best subtitle, but hopefully you get the point, right? Kind of talk about what the book is about, what's included, what is the benefit. The next thing is your series name, uh, Lemons to Lemonade, uh, also does not make sense. I'm assuming it's about, you know, like life giving you hardships, but you turning it into something positive. And I like that you have a series, but you probably want to change the name to something like, you know, dealing with narcissist series or once again, something a lot easier to understand what it's about. Okay. So, uh, so definitely improve the title. You have to unpublish the book and then republish it. So I don't know if you want to do that, especially considering that this book is selling decently. Although I believe if you make these changes, it's going to sell a lot, a lot better. Okay. So you could, uh, fix that by republishing the book. You can also improve the book cover a lot more. So I just looked up Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Workbook. These are the competitors that are ranking on it. And there are books on the topic that's doing extremely well. I mean, this one is 20,000 BSR, $91 a day. This one is 1,700 BSR, literally making $1,300 a day in royalties, right? And this is on the exact same topic that you're on, right? Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Workbook. So the potential is there. And for you to compete, you have to have a book cover uh, that is just as good, right? And this one, unfortunately, is it's different. It stands out for sure, but I'm not sure if it's good. I'm not sure if it's portraying the concept of dealing with narcissists, dealing with abusive relationships, right? Uh, so, you know, with self-help nonfiction books, this kind of text heavy cover works really well. So when I say text heavy, Basically, most of the cover is just text with very little design elements. Uh, so you could do that. Like all of this is all text heavy covers, right? It's just text and then some designs around it. Or you could do something that kind of portrays, you know, freedom away from toxic relationship like this one. I think this also looks decent. Uh, so you can definitely try it, but you can improve your cover a lot more uh, than what you have. Okay, so that's what I would recommend. Obviously, get more reviews than seven reviews, add more formats. And if you need help designing book covers, I actually found a Fiverr gig that specializes in business, nonfiction, and self help book cover. So I'll leave a link to this gig right here in the description. It has amazing reviews, a lot of orders in queue, and you can see that the book cover is pretty decent. So you want to look at your competitors once again. Uh, and then, you know, kind of give her specifications on how you want the cover to be. Okay. And these are the prices. So it's pretty good and you can improve your book cover a lot this way. So I would definitely recommend that. But overall, you are showing a lot of potential in this niche. I actually have a student in my course that is in a similar niche like this, doing $50,000 a month or more uh, from, you know, their books. So there's a lot of potential here. And if you fix the cover, fix the title, get more reviews, and then kind of fix the small stuff that I just mentioned, I think you can do very, very well. So hopefully this was helpful for you and I give you a rating of four out of five uh, for this book. All right guys, so that is the end of this video, reviewing your books. Uh, hopefully you got a lot of ideas on how you can improve your book. If you want me to do this again, then obviously uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, because if you guys do that, I know that people like these kind of videos and I can keep making it. Also, if you want me to review your book uh, in future videos, then follow me on Instagram. So my Instagram handle is in the description and then you can just DM me the book. I'm not gonna respond to the DMs, but I will you know, showcase the book on future videos. So make sure to do that. And finally, before you go, if you're serious about building your publishing business, if you wanna scale your publishing business to the next level, then consider checking out my complete publishing program. The link is in the description below. It's not just lessons, right? It's not just video lessons that you go through. We literally hold your hand like today where I reviewed your book and showed you exactly how to improve, right? You get that in the course. So you get free one on one strategy calls. You also get weekly coaching sessions and a private Facebook group where you can ask any questions you want. So it's designed to shortcut a lot of mistakes that you would make if you try to do this alone. And obviously you don't have to get the course. That's why I'm making videos for free so that I can help you. And hopefully once you start making money from your KDP business and you want to scale it further, then you can come back and join our program. So that's the goal here. But either way, if you want to check it out, the link is in the description and that is it for the video. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like the video if you like it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.